Oh, come on. That's the best you can do. We thank you guys so much for taking the B squad tonight. Uh, the B host, at least, not squad. B team. B team. Oh, my God. <laughs> and there you go. That's that wrestling smack talk. Coming <laughs> All right. What is your favorite or hashtag favorite comedy moment in a superhero film? I know that's long. Mine, Deadpool jumping out of the plane scene when they all die or almost everybody dies. Hands down, for me, the funniest, most laugh-out-loud moment I've ever had um, in a superhero movie. Uh, Ra Raider, I, I've got a single tear right now because I can no longer be the only person getting crapped on for not being able to create a hashtag. Thank you, sir. It's much appreciated. Yeah. I love you, dude. But that's, that's a, I think it's a decent hashtag. Think of something funny from a superhero movie. That might be better than that. I don't think anything is, but hashtag funny superhero moment. Yeah, you didn't see that. Funny superhero moment. Okay, you didn't. That did not come off the tip of your tongue like it did off of his, man. You, you're in my game right now. Oh, good lord! What is the? Heck? I know, right? I am <laughs> loving that right now. Masonic Vader. Is that a Captain Marvel helmet with the with the mohawk and everything? That's incredible. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. On the cast, so you can see his wonderful, majestic. Captain Marvel, we have Captain Masonic Vader on the cast. How is it? How are you going? How are you doing, sir? I am still mind blown from my 6 a.m. movie uh, visit this morning to uh, see Endgame. Um, it appears the Masonic Vader is going to be switching to um, different. <laughs> he is now Captain America, and um, that makes your head look relatively the right size with how large that. <laughs> There is a lot of brain matter in this helmet right now, let me tell you. Now let's see matter. that ass. <laughs> it is definitely not a superhero ass, I will tell you that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, okay. What are the Avengers? <laughs> I think they're called the Revengers. Yes, the Revengers. The Revengers is what is what we were Isn't talking that about. Isn't that Valkyrie? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Batman, I think, right? Yeah, well, Batman the craziest Marvel part of the whole movie is when Dumbledore killed Batman. That was bizarre. Yeah, exactly. Harry Potter was Spoilers. having some drinks somewhere. <laughs> Definitely the uh, most ambitious crossover ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we're, we've lost the reins. Who was given the set pieces and equipment used in the production of Alien? Oh, you're not going to get it. Who was yeah. given it? Um... Tony it. Stark. <laughs> no. I'm Iron Man. It was Bob Burns who was who was uh, a consultant for the for the series as well. This, this oh, is man, I, I was going to guess that next, dude. <laughs> Come on. How would anyone know that? <laughs> um, uh, uh, super. Yes. Before the movie went into production, what was the proposed title of the film? Space Truck. No, I'm going to go with, I don't know, Inner Species or something like that. <laughs> face hugger. <No. laughs> Anybody else have guesses besides Masonic Radio with face huggers? I don't know. I wasn't around in 1979. I got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what trait or physical characteristic had writer Dan O'Bannon considered giving the alien? Uh, let's see. Night vision. Interesting. No, but it was the ability to imitate its victims. It's like a body snatcher type of thing. Oh. <laughs> I was at this picture of Predator where it's like, what the hell are you? Yeah, and then, and then back then with an $8 million budget, that transformation would have been awesome. <laughs> it would have been people playing their 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 separate roles of of the as the alien. <laughs> John Hurt yeah. opens his mouth and a tiny John Hurt head pokes out. <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid eight million dollars just to see that. Jack Jack says a large set of breasts. <laughs> <laughs> they saved that for the queen. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Galaxy Quest? Sigourney has got those already. <laughs> oh, off topic. I know it's I know it's dark, but I don't know if you guys can see this. I have the arc reactor going right now, and that's not just a shirt. That's keeping my heart in pieces, <laughs> keeping it together. Um, this and proof, my, my soul has been wrecked. It's proof that A.A. Ron has a heart. 
<laughs> and yeah, when Tony died, I I definitely teared up, and there was someone next to my wife straight up when Tony was dying, going. Had <laughs> <laughs> that. So. That might have been me too. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of people ugly crying in the theater oh, when man. that was going on. Man, it was rough. I mean, just like loud, just. You just heard people's like sleeves running across their noses, man. It was uh, it was rough. It was rough measles, rough measles. Moment. What I noticed the second time watching it was not as much loud crying, but the amount of noses going, <laughs> <laughs> or people scratching around their eyes, probably and stuff. You know? <laughs> I'm not crying. It's kind of, I got allergies, man. Allergies are killing me. I think something else that it's actually done is, is something to actors. I don't think uh, like. For example, there was a lot of like for uh, what's his name who played the original Spider Man. He, oh, I don't want to play Spider Man anymore. I want to do something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. don't you talk yeah. about Toby like that? <laughs> <laughs> He's earned his respect. He didn't want to play Spider Man anymore because they made him an emo kid. <laughs> but I mean, but, but the whole thing is a lot. Hey, there's nothing wrong with emo kids, West. All right, I have well, a lot he, of photos. There's mm. nothing wrong with emo kids. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with emo Peter Parker. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back when Final Fantasy uh, Ten and Ten came out back in like the early two thousands. You made the crossover. Yeah, you still had you know like the Ugh. the the talking you know bubbles, but you had. I the voice love actors. Ten so much. Oh yeah, it's still it's the true, guy. The guy that voices Waka is a moron. <laughs> other than that, <laughs> oh, it's Waka. <laughs> Tina's for me, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I want to retract my earlier statement that the voice of Waka was a moron because apparently it's uh. John DiMaggio. Um, John DiMaggio. DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. It's John DiMaggio, who's the voice of Bender. And I wow. actually the voice of uh, the, the main female was actually the one that I hated the most. You know? You're wrong on that one. Yeah. Because <laughs> John DiMaggio can do no wrong in my books. So. We haven't had a somebody's got to talk about in a while. So, <laughs> this one is um, so weird. Oh, this dude. one is so weird. That's why it's a somebody's got to talk about it. Talk about These are the stories where it's weird, it's odd, it's just goofy, and somebody's got to talk about. It. We have to um, discuss have, this. Have stuff. you ever have you ever wanted to have your spring water out of a tall boy? <laughs> no. Wanna, no, nobody you has. No like one it? has. Wait, wait. Did you want to feel like an adult? But really good it, so you have to have to yeah. make it look like it. Did I you mean, want to make Golden Ultra that's even more watery than it already is? <laughs> so, do you want to murder your thirst? <laughs> <laughs> that's like, their actual tagline. <laughs> uh, let, let, let mask it into it. Because let me damn. explain what we're talking about. Because people right now are going to be like, "What are they talking?" You know, um, yeah. So <laughs> there is a new drink out called Liquid Death. Um, and yes, their their slogan is "Murder Your Thirst." It's a tall can style with a melting skull on it. It is straight up water, just water, just nothing but water. It's yeah. water, it's Aquafina. Yes, yeah. funny. <laughs> and the way that they are addressing it as is, it is for the straight edge punk. Um, is which, straight edge still a thing? I thought that yeah. went away in like the mid two thousands. It did. It did. It died, and they're trying to bring it back. Like, I felt really bad for everybody well, that has X's it, tattooed on their hands, you know? Yeah. I mean, well, that's still... why they have the skull on the can, because it died, and then they're trying to bring it back. <laughs> such a <laughs> joke. Oh, my God. Cut room. I it's mean, not like Razor who, making a toaster. <laughs> who has ever thought in their life, I'm not going to drink water because it just doesn't look gangster enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Jared Leto's Jared, Joker. Can, 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 uh, we, I'm just gonna say this right now: if that comment is not on the greatest at the end of the year mess, you're fired, dude. <laughs> that coming from Super <laughs> is such a good joke. But, but now, but now, here's what's gonna happen. I mean, going into the Twitch world, people are gonna be live streaming games. They're gonna be brown bagging their water. You know, they're gonna be pouring oh, no. one for their homies. You know. <laughs> Every time your puppy dies, they're one of pouring them. one for their homie. I want to see somebody get their keys out and shotgun a water. Oh, <laughs> um, okay, so I, I, I do want to bring this up because I know, I know, you know, if you guys are looking to buy some stuff on Amazon, 
Buy Liquid Death on Amazon. <laughs> it's available on Amazon right it's now. Funny. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to know how this man raised 1.3 million dollars. 1.6. Uh, and it's because he's six. a Netflix exec. Oh but he's got some uh, elbows to rub. But he said we're going to sell water in a metal can. And actually my first thought when reading through that article, actually my second thought, my first thought was this is a garbage concept. My second thought was this is environmentally unfriendly. Why are you doing that? Actually, now, now here's the thing. Thinking about it, because I didn't get a chance to read the article beforehand. I just, I kind of read into it really quick. And you're talking about first things that come to my head. I'm going to tell you the first thing that came in my head. No BS. Is President's group opening up the can of air, <laughs> taking a big sniff of it. Oh my gosh, they're going to have water now in the can. Oh my God, the chat room is having so much fun with this. And we okay. record this live every Friday on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Malice Corp. So you can be part of the chat room for this type of stuff. But I, I have to read off some of these. Um, Real uh, quick, the, uh, you, you, you cannot drink those canned waters unless you're wearing Jinkos. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, Beacon says, Mest, I know you wore Jinkos this time. I did, I did definitely. Uh, chase it with Mountain Dew and you'll be fine. Ruth <laughs> says, Sell it on Goop. Um, oh, God, <laughs> with the jade eggs. Yep. Um, so, so, uh, is, uh, and sorry. Bearded Master brings up, So, we're going to be shotgunning liquid death, de liquid death mountain water during the GOT finale. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to be yeah. pour, pouring one for a, a, a Lannister. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna buy a tall boy, drink the beer, and then just pour tap water into it. So, uh, th this is from a magazine. The Liquid Death <laughs> co-founder. This is from a magazine. The Liquid Death co-founder explains: once Liquid Death reaches your thirst's brain, all of your thirst's memories will be replaced with repeating loops of its own head imploding. Oh, like okay, so it's it's Brondo, but it's just water instead yes. of. Well, so I wonder, Brondo, uh, the thirst mutilator. I wonder if this is. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I was about to say, I wonder if this is going to be like the beginning of canned water, kind of like how Coca Cola's original formula had Coke. <laughs> no, it's just. I mean, if they're putting Coke in the water, I'll buy it. Yeah, yeah no, it's <laughs> water. It, their their explanation is to market them specifically to straight-age punks again, as opposed to whole food yoga moms. So just because they're putting it into a can, <laughs> a melting skull that says murder your If you're thirst. wearing pants that are really tight on your legs, you cannot buy our product. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not Like I said, Jinko wears only. Well, this is like for those, you know, those YouTube videos that you see of, of like little angry teenage boys in their mama's basement pretending that they're punk rockers and doing death metal. You know they're going to be pounding that on the side because they're underage and they can't really get a, a tall boy. And they're going to be pounding that, trying to look cool. I, it's I gonna don't want the, to live on this planet the, anymore. Uh, it's going to be the old Adam Sandler skit where the guy's like drinking the non alcoholic. <laughs> so oh weird, man, I had like, man. had like 20 of these, man. I'm so drunk. I could tell yeah, you yeah, this beer was non alcoholic. Cool. This, this, this would probably be in the Offspring's music video, A Pretty Fly for a White. Oh, God. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Thank you. Can we have a remake of that oh. video featuring Good with Death? But I can understand how he made Okay. So you were asking how he got 1.6 million. I'm going to read you off some of the comments that uh, in in this interview are from the, uh, the co founder said, and the guy can sell. So he says, initially, some of our thinking was we wanted to take more inspiration from the beer category because one thing we know in marketing is if you want younger people to want something, you have to market to people in their 20s because teens want the thing they can't have. At first, we knew the easiest crowd for us is anyone into heavy metal, punk rock, and that kind of world because they immediately get the joke and get the humor and have never well, seen Because they're so well known for being well hydrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What makes this appealing for such a large group is that it feels like a niche thing. Um, if you think about it, it makes sense. Everything metal and punk is extreme. Being vegan is extreme. Protesting with deforestation is extreme. <laughs> there are more vegans at a heavy metal show than Taylor Swift show. We are by far <laughs> the most sustainable option for packaged water, which is a big driver for why people want to buy from us. I just, how long do you think it'll last? I mean, Mess, it, it, Mess, can you can you at any point <laughs> up a picture of what this can looks like on the screen? Uh, let me see. Is, I'm I'm gonna put a hundred dollars down right now. There are going to be people with this logo tattooed on their body. 
Uh, forever. Is, is Liquid Death the new monster, uh, Dad? It can't be because for, guy, for guys named Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's actually guys named Joshua, and they're oh, it's going to be for guys named Joshua now, or not like, hey Bryce. Yeah, we're leaving behind the, the Chads and the Dirks, and we're going for the Joshuas and the and the Christophers. I just, I mean, I Chris, mean, Christopher. Thank is you. This, is this going to be, in all honesty, is this going to be like when when these were, when these were out there? Is this going to? It's going to be an Instagram thing. Is it going to be just like when Starbucks has their special shake that tastes? Or their special frap that tastes absolutely horrible. Their their unicorn frap, whatever. Nobody's drinking it. They're just buying it. <laughs> I'm. I get, I get and, it, and it's in the trash. Are they going to do the same thing? And then once the Instagram craze for this this can runs out, it's gone. It's it's. I, it's I can tell you this. Their first, tw- you buy a twelve pack. Their first giveaway is going to be a man bun. <laughs> or scrunchies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> scrunchies for your man bun. This entire brand has a three to four month shelf life. In, my so in other how, words, how, buy a can of it and save it somewhere. It'll be no, no, no. It's, some it's how quickly until it's at the ninety nine cent store because now that the that's the only place that that. Oh won't. yeah, it's the only place you can still find four loco. Yeah, you'll find it. It'll be at the ninety nine cent store for seventy. Well, that and, cents. and big lots, yeah. <laughs> no, Walmart yeah. will have it. I'm sure. I mean, if you're watching this I, on I YouTube, feel, you'll have already seen what it looks like. But yeah, I feel like Walmart's a little too classy for. for the- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Big lots, big lots is the wheelhouse, or ninety nine cents store. Yeah. All right. Yes, I'll bearded switch master. Yes, you can get a man bun, sir. Uh, uh, can you do a man so bun in your beard? Because I want to see that. Just so you guys can see this before we sign off, there it's is your over. there is your liquid death. There is your this is water. It's just water. It's, oh my god, that's hardcore, dude! It's <laughs> right. <laughs> that water that's is awesome. metal. Oh my so, god! I I want to make so many Brondo comparisons. It's like riding a pony that's three hundred feet tall and covered in chainsaws. I think I know what I'm going to be for Halloween this year on the cast. <laughs> You're going to be liquid death. I'm going to be a can of liquid death. Nice. So wait a minute. You've been watching so much uh, G.I. Joe that uh, we need one thing from you. We need your best impression of Cobra Commander being beaten. Come on. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I can do Skeletor. Come on. I thought you were going to ask for a Go Joe. No, 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 Joe, no. Joe. I, I oh, want to make Joe, it fun because you know that crazy, that, that, that crazy voice that Cobra Commander has. You got G.I. Hey, <laughs> Joe, curse see you, G.I. Joe. <laughs> and that is, that is why that is why I asked for that over a Yo Joe. Yo Joe's easy. <laughs> that was that was pretty solid. I had to dance for this, so this was actually at a taping, and it's the entire cast signing of uh of the i think it was for season four and i had to do the hammer dance to get people to cheer so that i won this so <laughs> this was actually that was it so, i have that recorded can we find that on youtube oh no no it's not recorded <laughs> I, have, yeah. I have no problem making a fool of myself you guys should have learned this by now so well uh, let's see the hammer dance let's go i don't have enough space here you're just gonna have to come to a live recording taping somewhere like a comic-con or something and we'll uh I'll do I'll do a hammer dance for everybody there. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's our. We're, that's we're gonna hold you to that. That's fine. I have no problem. Doesn't mean it's a good hammer dance, but I'll. <laughs> it shouldn't be. I can do the chair the chair hammer dance. Look, at, <laughs> we can do it this way. This is impressive. See, see, I'm doing. It. <laughs> <laughs> what what no. was the other dude's name from Twilight? That did the vampire? I I mean the werewolf. I could see him playing a good. Taylor Lautner. Yeah. There you go. Taylor Lautner. No, no. I would definitely take Pattinson over Lautner. I don't need my Batman to be like four foot five. (laughs) No, no. He's at least four foot eleven. Come on, scratching five feet. And he did have an action film that he actually. He's too Did busy right doing really. He's too busy doing really bad comedies for Netflix for Adam Sandler right now. 